throughout the country. Give the congressman a round of applause. Whether we're represented uh, on corporate boards or community boards, Congressman Meeks is someone who gets that, who's a father of three. He's been championing women's rights for as long as I can remember, and we're so lucky to have him here today supporting 21 and 21. Give it up for Congressman Meeks. So we've got work to do. 
because instead of us progressing, we went back. <laughs> instead of us continuing to lead, we've lost our numbers. And so my announcement I'm committed as chair of the Queens County Democratic Organization to work with 21 for 21 so that we can make sure that we get at least 21 women. And so we're focused. We're going to make sure that the Queens County organization is reflective of the borough. So we're going to make sure there's women, people of color, of all colors, because that's what makes this borough the borough that it is. It is more representative of the whole world than any place else, and everybody's going to feel and be a part of just that. The greatest organization in the greatest borough, in the greatest city, in the best state, in the best nation that this world has ever seen. That's what we got to do. Now what the plan is, because what the group 21 for 21 and Elizabeth Crowley, they're not just talking about it. That's right. That's right. They're putting together a program because what we know we got to level the playing field. And we know in this business, people got to raise money. That's right. All right. So 21 for 21 is going to be working with women to teach and show you how you can raise money. You've got to be able to get into the communities and know how to do things in regards to getting petitions and working in community groups. And 21 for 21 is going to be doing workshops for women so that we can level the playing field. You gotta make coalition. You gotta build coalitions. And 21 for 21 will be building coalitions. I will tell you, I've seen some of the work. You've seen some of the work of 21 for 21. Why do I know? Because right here in Southeast of Queens, Elizabeth Crowley working hard has made a difference because that's why now you got Adrian Adams in the city. <laughs> and does it make a difference? It absolutely does. Because when I go down and visit City Hall, all they're talking to me about is the great work that Adrian is doing. So imagine what would happen if we made sure that we had 21 of her. <laughs> to get it done. And that's what this is all about. We are going to make sure that there is equity and that the playing field is level and that we get the voices of women. Because when we know that when we get those voices, we get it right, and it holds us accountable, and we make sure that we're balanced, and we make sure that we're working together. That's what we lost. So we've got an opportunity, and we've got a lot of work to do. And it's time for us to roll up our sleeves right now, because you don't wait till two, well, two months before 21, 21. You don't do that. I can tell you right now that what I will be doing at the county meeting, I've got to evaluate to see who's ready, to see if you've gone. And some of my questions may be, did you go through some of the classes that 21 for 21 has? Have you raised the money? We want to make sure that those playing fields are level for you so that we can make sure then we do the right thing with those who are elected. And to, I spoke to some high school students who are in the audience. There he is. Where are they? I see two right there. All right. And they were asking, yeah, give us a round of applause. And they already know there's nothing that can stop them. 
They're already focused on making, they were asking me questions. They've been to do internships and oh, want to make sure that, asking me how did I get involved in politics and what do I think the first step should be or the second step. And they're in 10th grade. All right. That's what we want. Yeah. That's how we make it happen. It starts then because I tell you, nothing, nothing can put a ceiling. I mean, Hillary Clinton talked about that breaking the glass ceiling. Let's shatter them all. Yeah. Shatter them all. And if we do that, and if we do that, we are assuring that tomorrow is going to be much better than today or yesterday. So now see the president of DC 37 here. It is what makes the difference. So part of this is going to be locking on with them, and we're going to march together. And when 2021 is over, we're going to lead the nation in women being elected, the city council, the state assembly. Look, we've made history again. Woman in the state senate, state senate majority leader, Andrea Stewart Cousin. <laughs> Michelle Gillian, please come up, Michelle. Oh, oh, Michelle. 